nice soft landing. But her chief worry, being a woman, is her personal appearance. At Morecambe, they're getting ready for the Miss Great Britain beauty contest. Among the judges, Manny Shinwell casting a benevolent eye over the 16 entrants. That's Linda Ann Thomas from Manchester. Number 12, Barbara Taylor from Blackpool. With beauties like Wendy Ann Redmond to look at, you can't blame him for bringing glasses. Elizabeth Robinson was another beauty to watch. A lot of preparation goes into the final part of these contests. How to make yourself look well-groomed is almost as important as looking pretty. One of the mysteries of a woman's appearance is her crowning glory, her hair. Trying out the treatment begins right here in a salon belonging to one of the biggest hairspray manufacturers in the country. In their laboratory, every conceivable type of spray content and perfume is tested under rigorous conditions. The effect of the spray is tested for angle of distribution, width, fineness, speed and concentration of particles. A comparison test is made on a wig to check if it holds in humid or hot conditions. Only one side is treated. The effects recorded by instant photography. Altogether, there are four varieties of spray tested here, each using top quality French perfumes. In this business of women's toiletries, nothing can be left to chance. Women have become far more choosy today than they used to be, and now there's a far wider range. Only by subjecting the sprays to extremely close examination can you get the best. This is the fastest aerosol assembly line in Britain, from which millions of hairsprays are sold throughout the world. Demands for new fashions in toiletries change every year, and industry has to keep up with their demands. Meanwhile, our girl in Paris shows some Parisian her British hairspray, which even in France is considered to be one of the best in existence. Yes, a lot of preparation goes into looking your best. These are some of the final products of the treatment at the Miss Great Britain Beauty Contest. Julie Rogers looks on as Lucky 13, Elizabeth Robinson of Nottingham, not only wins the beauty contest, but gets £2,500 in cash. The runner-up, Wendy Redman from Arundel in Sussex. The First Lady of the Skies, 002 